The early winter of 2025 hit Louisiana with record-breaking cold temperatures. And we unfortunately saw a lot of loss of some really long-lived trees, such as this beautiful citrus orchard that was 30 years old but is now completely dead. Now leaving these plants in place for a few months after the freeze makes sense because you're trying to see if it actually lived and where it's going to come back. But at this point in the year, we know for sure that they're dead. Leaving dead plant material like this can actually cause some problems though and invite some unwanted guests. So I'm here with extension entomologist Dr. Aaron Ashbrook to talk about some of those. Yes, and so ambrosia beetles are an insect that will utilize both living trees as well as dead trees as a reproductive material. Oh. Mm -hmm. And so initially, ambrosia beetles, they tend to attack stressed trees. This could be either trees that are susceptible to drought mm -hmm. or alternatively, their roots are underwater, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. leads to the stress process. Now, once the beetles have been attracted to the tree, they will burrow a hole inside and establish galleries where they will feed their young fungus, ambrosia fungus, mm -hmm. hence the name of the beetle. And so they'll leave behind these very noticeable fecal horns or frass horns where essentially you see a projection of their fecal material coming out of the bark and it will look very uh, thin and it'll be obvious. And they do actually attack a variety of trees, crepe myrtles, citrus, and other thin barked trees. These trees should be taken down at this point in the year, correct? That's correct. And so once we know that the ambrosia beetle has established and mm -hmm. attacked the tree, we want to remove that tree so that they're not able to finish the reproductive cycle and attack subsequent trees in the area. All right, so disposal is important because not everywhere allows people to burn the wood once it's taken out. What should they do? That's right. And so in those situations, we suggest that the individual cut down the tree, cut it into smaller pieces, and then dispose of it in their landfill. All right. It's a sad thing to talk about, but something that has to be done. Forget it growing. I'm Jason Stagg along with Dr. Aaron Ashbrook for the LSU Ag Center.